While Russia was improving the features of its Su-35 warplanes and completes the only fifth-generation Su-57, which entered service at the end of 2020, the U.S. was laboring over the development of a sixth-generation fighter. Only the stars are above, as they say. Representatives from the U.S. Military Department have recently begun talking about sixth-generation aircraft that are absolutely amazing. If we consider the level of global progress, this is the most advanced generation of fighters yet. In today's video, we'll discuss U.S. sixth-generation fighter jets as well as other things. So, without further ado, let's get started. In order to keep up with the UK and France-led programs, the U.S. appears to have accelerated its sixth-generation fighter jet program, also known as Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD. While the United States has already flown a prototype of the NGAD, the United Kingdom is developing the Tempest, a sixth-generation aircraft that will join the Royal Air Force, Swedish Air Force, and Italian Air Force once completed. Similarly, France, Germany, and Spain are developing the Future Combat Air System, FCAS, which will eventually replace the Eurofighter Typhoon, Gripen, and Rafale. The NGAD program began in the early 2010s with the goal of developing an air superiority system for the U.S. Air Force in the 2030s. The program shifted from a single addition to a suite of capabilities in 2018. The program's goal is to develop a number of essential technologies in areas like propulsion, stealth, sophisticated armaments, digital design, CAD-based engineering, and aircraft signature heat management. With a $9 billion budget through 2025, the initiative disrupts standard Air Force acquisition by separating design, production, and support roles in the development process. The development program includes more frequent industry competitions and simulations in the design and manufacturing processes. The NGAD system is described as a family of systems, with a fighter aircraft serving as the centerpiece in unmanned escort aircraft carrying extra weapons and performing other roles. NGAD aspires to provide a system that meets the operational needs of the Pacific Theater of Operations, where present U.S. Air Force weapons lack the range and payload required. According to USAF commanders, there may be two variants of NGAD, one with a high range and payload for the Indo-Pacific, and one with a shorter range and payload for possible battle regions in Europe. The fighter will use adaptive cycle engines developed through the Adaptive Engine Transition Program AETP, and Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion NGAP, programs with flying ready engines scheduled by 2025. A full-scale prototype of the NGAD fighter aircraft flew in September 2020, according to Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Will Roper. General Brown, the USAF's Chief of Staff, indicated in May 2021 that the NGAD will begin replacing the F-22 in the 2030s. The F-35 Lightning II will operate alongside the new aircraft in the United States well into the 2050s and beyond, while the F-22 Raptor will be phased out. The sixth-generation combat aircraft will have the following features and capabilities. Enhanced human system interface with a virtual cockpit that allows pilot 360-degree vision with AI-enhanced battlefield awareness, and it will be capable of performing manned, remote-controlled, or onboard artificial intelligence-controlled missions. It would be equipped with advanced digital capabilities such as data fusion, command control, and communications, as well as high-capacity networking. It would also have variable cycle engines, directed energy weapons such as a laser, the ability to control drone swarms and other unmanned aerial assets, and the ability to carry new generation air-to-ground and air-to-air -air munitions. The NGAD system, which will be fielded in the early 2030s, is projected to be followed by Tempest in 2035 and a Franco-German Spanish jet five years later. The initiative has been accelerated by the U.S. Air Force and Navy, and the American defense aerospace industry would design, develop, construct, and field a new aircraft in five years or less. This is a capacity that the Europeans manifestly lack, highlighting the technology divide between the United States and Europe. The NGAD system, a prototype of which flew in September 2020, is the first combat aircraft to be manufactured. The NGAD program comprises numerous businesses swiftly constructing a small batch of aircraft, similar to the Century series of aircraft from the 1950s, such as the F-100, F-104, F-105, and F-106. Since then, the aerospace industry has advanced significantly, and it now has the capability to develop an aircraft from the ground up and get it into the air in five years or less to combat shifting threats now and in the future. The sixth-generation combat aircraft will be at the center of a networked system that will likely be partnered with unmanned escort aircraft, missile trucks, among other things. According to Defense News, the U.S. Air Force is expected to employ prototyping to stay up with critical technologies and allow them to evolve faster so that they can be included in advanced aircraft that will be deployed in the early 2030s. What sets this new strategy apart from previous approaches is the United States Air Force's goal of creating an aircraft in two years, integrating whatever new technology is available rather than waiting for it to mature. 
The service will then purchase these planes, launching a fresh round of competition among manufacturers to develop more advanced designs and include newer technology than was previously conceivable. This would result in a family of networked combat aircraft, each group having its own set of capabilities and the younger ones being more integrated into the system than the older ones. One aircraft may be designed to carry an airborne laser, while another would be the group's principal carrier of cutting-edge sensors, and the third would be an unmanned weapons carrier. This kind of adaptability allows the U.S. Air Force to quickly field a new aircraft in response to rapidly evolving threats. Such quick development and deployment of a continuous stream of combat aircraft will undoubtedly frighten and put the U.S. enemies such as China and Russia on the defensive. Agile software development, open architecture, and digital engineering are three technologies that are crucial to reaching this goal. Agile software development is the practice of swiftly producing, testing, and releasing code while users put it through its paces and providing feedback. The NGAD system will be built on an open architecture with fully open, interchangeable hardware, allowing third parties to develop software for the system. The third technology is not only the newest, but it is also possibly the most revolutionary. Digital engineering will enable 3D modeling of an aircraft's entire life cycle in extreme detail, from design to production to maintenance with pinpoint accuracy, and will aid in visualizing how the production line will operate, as well as how maintenance and repair will be carried out while in service. However, opponents claim that the U.S. Air Force is overreacting to the F-35's teething problems, despite the fact that the plane was marketed as a single answer for a variety of jobs. Due to cost increase caused by software and sensors, the fifth-generation aircraft took nearly two decades to build and field. Some observers believe that by accepting the NGAD, the U.S. will be able to prioritize development and fielding of the aircraft in a much shorter time frame, at the expense of new weapons, radars, sensors, and other enabling technology. The focus was on the systems rather than the aircraft in the F-35, but critics argue that NGAD is the polar opposite, and that the goal should be somewhere in the center, a reasonable balance. Little is known about Russia's and China's progress in developing their sixth-generation combat aircraft programs, while conjecture suggests they are still in the early stages, implying that the U.S. military will continue to dominate the skies for the foreseeable future. That concludes today's video. We hope you found the video entertaining. What are your thoughts on the NGAD program? Do you believe the United States will lead the race? What feature of NGAD do you like the most? Tell us in the comments box below and don't forget to press the like button while you're at it. We'll see you in the future videos and thank you for watching.